As with many Russian military projects, things are not always what they seem. Such is the case, with the new MiG-35 Fulcrum. The current iteration of the MiG-35, is not the advanced warplane that India rejected, in favor of the French Raphael in 2011. Rather, the new MiG-35 is a somewhat upgraded, land-based version of the MiG-29KR, carrier variant of the long-serving Fulcrum. It has no thrust vectoring controls, and lacks active electronically scanned radar, even though Russia has the technology. But then, why the elaborate video conference with Russian President Vladimir Putin, if the new fighter is just an upgraded version of the MiG-29KR? The answer is simple. Marketing. The entire MiG-35 project, exists only in order to maintain the production line, of Mikoyan Design Bureau, as well as for export. Important aspects like, technical specifications were a secondary factor. The Ministry of Defense, wants active electronically scanned radar, but wants it as cheaply as possible. Foreign customers, who can buy MiGs, are still buying the aircraft without an active electronically scanned radar, due to cost factors. The actual radar, is a mechanically scanned version of the Zook, rather an active electronically radar. The MiG-35, will eventually enter Russian service, but the aircraft is primarily geared toward export customers. The Russian Air Force, itself is much more interested in the Flanker series, which are much more capable and versatile aircraft. The MiG-35, is pretty much the Mikoyan Design Bureau's, last hope for survival, given Sikhoi's overwhelming advantage. <laughs>